Hello and welcome, my name is Andy and in this video I will give you an update for my driver constraint add-on. So what is the driver constraint add-on? Let's say we have um, our object and we have a shape key here. And we want to drive this shape key with a bone. So um, usually you have to set up the drivers in Blender and that was a very time consuming task and that's what the add-on was for. So um, basically um, what, what it does is select the object, select the bone and then press W and uh, choose the driver constraint add-on. So it sets up the key, the values and everything else. So um, as you see here, it creates the um, F-curve and drives the shape now. Um, un unfortunately, the add-on did only work with shape keys, so it was not meant for any other property. And this is what I've changed now. So now you can use this basically for any property or almost any. Um, let's say we want to um, drive this name property here, for, for example. And we just uh, right click on the property and say copy data path. Then we shift select the um, bone and press W. So it automatically automatically sets the property type to object property, sets the property name here and all the values. So we say OK. And if, you, uh, if we move that bone to one, you see that the um, name here appears. So we have driven that shape uh, or that property here, sorry. Um, let's use it for something else. Let's say you want to set it to wire. Um, so we just right click, um, set, say copy data path. And now we move it only a little. So let's say uh, to here, press uh, select the object and the bone, press W and say OK. So you see now, if we move it just a little bit, the wireframe gets shown. Um, we can use this for different properties like, uh, for example, subsurf. So we have here a subsurf modifier and want to drive that subsurf view levels here. So right click, copy data path, select the shift select the bone. And now um, it is set to modifier property, the path is set. And we um, can now also say what are the min and max values for that property. So min value is zero and the max value will be six for um, the subsurf modifier, press OK, and now we can drive this very easy. We can not only drive it for objects, but also for the um, for the armchair itself. So if we want to drive, for example, the um, axis here, it is set to data property for the armature show axes. Uh, min if we have a bool property, we have to set it to zero or one. And that's it. So there you see the uh, axes appear. Um, this uh, also works for custom properties. So I have used this for my color animation add-on, let's say we have these uh, um, sprite sheets here and we have um, on zero on, val on value one, we have this uh, frame here and we want to use this bone to drive that frame. So we select the object, copy data path, shift select the bone, move it and then we just press driver constraint and say OK. So that's it. Now we have set up that bone to drive uh, the frame here very easily. Okay, um, so that's it for this video. Um, if you like that add-on, feel free to download it from my GitHub page. Um, it is completely free, but if you like to support me, you can donate for it. And you can always share this video and give me a thumbs up. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video.